Now, a final goodbye to the late Reverend Dr. Calvin Butts. A viewing and funeral are set for today at the Abyssinian Baptist Church, where he led for decades. CBS 2's Zinnia Maldonado joins us live from the church in Harlem, where hundreds will come to honor the civil rights icon. Zinnia, what can we expect today? Chris and Mary, good morning. Well, hundreds came out yesterday to show their love and support for Reverend Calvin Butts. It just goes to show the big impact he had, whether big or small, on hundreds of people. And now we're expecting another big turnout from the community when his funeral begins at 2 p.m. this afternoon. He enriched my life, my spirit. It has to be here today because he gave me something. Uh, that money can't buy. A line wrapped around the block here at Abyssinian Baptist Church Thursday. Hundreds coming out to say goodbye to Reverend Dr. Calvin Butts. Even though you know we're living in some difficult times, you thank God that you were able to get up this morning. Throughout his 50 years of service to the Harlem community, thousands of followers look to Reverend Butts as a shining example of leadership and devotion to the Lord. He just was receptive to the black community especially in Harlem, and he loved Harlem. Charles Grayson became a member at Abyssinian the first time he heard Reverend Butt speak. He was among the first in line to say farewell. I fell in love with the church. I fell in love with him. He was a very nice pastor. Abyssinian member Sonia Joy Robinson Dyer hasn't missed a Sunday service in 33 years. Well, this pastor has taught me a whole lot. Uh, most importantly, he had taught me about walking in that faith. She says her final visit with her pastor gave more comfort than sadness. For me, I was at peace. Seeing him at peace brought peace to me. Anthony Mills and his wife Diane Richards met in this church. They wanted to stand together before their pastor one last time. And we just stood there and said thank you for being like a light that attracted us. Powerful, powerful brother. It was like asking for a blessing for us to continue to stay married and to walk in faith. In his 73 years of life, Butts built a legacy of both leading and serving simultaneously, showing how one individual can impact an entire community. I know if there's a God that is good, as some say, he's pleased with you because of what you've represented. With me, he's still within my heart, no matter where. You know, as long as I live, he's still with me. That gentleman will never die within the people of the church and the community. One of a kind. Now, the Reverend passed away exactly a week ago due to pancreatic cancer. Ahead of his funeral this morning, another visitation will be held from 9 to 11 a.m. We're live this morning from Harlem. Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zania, thank you.